Okay, our next two frozen drinks are going to be the strawberry daiquiri and the pina colada. We're going to make these two simultaneously since they're very, very similar. Um, each one of them has one and a half ounce of rum. Uh, that's really the only liqueur that you really need. I, however, on my strawberry daiquiris, I like to add a touch of this. This is strawberry liqueur. And let's get started. Just like with our margarita, we want to fill our glasses up with ice so they're beveled. Now, when you're making the strawberry daiquiri, another thing, another way you can uh, try to earn yourself a better tip, ask that person if they would like a sugar rim on their strawberry daiquiri. Nice little touch that uh, most people are not often asked, but they like to, they like to be asked, that, those kind of things. People like to think they're getting a lot of attention, a lot of service like that. Okay. Now, with frozen drinks, a lot of people, they, they choose a premium spirit, such as Bacardi or... Uh, Captain Morgan, or a lot of these names that you often commonly hear. However, I don't really think it's that necessary. Um, when you're mixing spirits with such things as like Sours Mix, or Strawberry Daiquiri Mix, Pina Colada Mix, um, often the nuances that make that spirit, that spirit a premium spirit kind of get lost. They get, get lost in the mixture. So um, you can use Bacardi, that's fine, but uh, for all intents and purposes today we're going to use something a little bit cheaper. This is Barton's Rum. Um, you can pick up a liter of this at uh, any store for about ten dollars. It'll go further, and uh, let's get let's get started. Okay, we now have our liqueur in both glasses. Now the strawberry one, I'm going to put just a dash of this one in. Two dashes of the strawberry liqueur. And then we top it off with our strawberry daiquiri mix. What I'm putting in here is about two to two and a half ounces of mixture. Now for the pina colada one, I have a pina colada mix here, but they come in all different uh, brands. You can get dailies. This happens to be Fruit Frazé. This is a product of Lanakai who delivers the slush puppy things. Um, the way a lot of people make pina coladas, they'll use pineapple juice and something called Coco Lopez, which is just a can of concentrated coconut. Now I'm going to put a splash of pineapple juice into my pina colada. Okay, now our drinks are prepared and they're ready to go into the blender. Now, you can also substitute these mixtures you buy in the store with fresh fruit. You can use fresh pineapple or you can use fresh strawberries. You would want to then enhance them with a little bit of sweetener. So maybe some simple syrup, which is just a blend of sugar and water. Um, but let's get started here. Always make sure your top is on the blender. It's very important. Okay, now this one's done. I'm going to throw this one up and get that one going while I pour out the pina colada. pretty good, especially in a hot summer day. Now see this has got a nice smooth consistency, as does the pina colada, and it won't melt right away on you. Now as a nice little touch for garnish, I like to add a little dollop of whipped cream. Add our straws we're set. There you have it. Strawberry daiquiri and pina colada. <laughs>